It really is. And I'm using the selfie camera on my iPhone to go live, kind of breaking the fourth wall there for viewers. Now, the selfie camera aspect of this is really important to those kids at BYU because they developed an out of this world selfie camera they'll they'll be sending up to the stars. Two, one, zero. Ignition. Iconic images like these have inspired generations of those looking to the stars and wondering what's out there. Well, I was young and I looked at the stars and I heard what NASA did and kind of be one of the few who's built something that's been in space is something pretty special. But now thanks to some brilliant minds at BYU, there's a whole new way to get these pictures from outer space. We're launching two spacecraft which we call the Passive Inspection CubeSats, or PICS for short. But then along came a smart aleck and said, oh, it's a selfie camera, and it's stuck. This is Dr. David Long, the head of the program, though he admits his students actually rarely let him touch their work on the satellite. Two PIC satellites will soon be launched into orbit. They're two test satellites with a very important practical application. If you want to sort of inspect your spacecraft, take a picture of it from the outside, right now that's virtually impossible. So you can take our little spacecraft along for the ride, and when you want to get a picture, you just throw one out the window, essentially. It takes pictures. It drifts away. So this is it. You can see the cameras on each side of it, and it's only about the size of my hand. Weighs about two pounds, and soon, ones just like this will be traveling the Earth at 15,000 miles an hour. And launching these into space will be a first for BYU. This is all our design, all built by undergraduate students at Brigham Young University. Students like Ben Francis, who are looking forward to launch date. Coming up to launch, I know I'll probably have a few sleepless nights getting ready for this. And then when we get the first data back, our first contact, uh, this thing orbits around, we'll see it once a day, downlink data, get our pictures down. So for the whole team, soon that childhood dream of reaching the stars will be a reality. Now that's going to be an exciting day. The students have worked for a long time to make that happen. There's always an opportunity for anybody and it's more up to you what you decided you wanted to be versus what the world is telling you it should be. So that launch date, well, it's December 19th through the 20th. It'll be piggybacked off a of Virgin Galactic flight to then take those into outer space where students here will be on the ground waiting with bated breath to get that first data. Live at Brigham Young University, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, UC.